Hello everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be sharing two best methods to edit any kind of PDF on your PC and laptop. Now many people, they want to edit their PDF, they want to make some changes, but exactly they are not sure how to do this. So make sure that you watch the video till the end, you can watch both the method and whichever suits you, you can apply that. And if you found this helpful, do not forget to like and subscribe for any question, let me know in the comment section. Now right now I have a PDF here. I just took this for example so that I can show you how you have to do it. So let me quickly open it. So now in the first method, what we can do, we can just take a screenshot of this PDF. From your keyboard, you need to press the control and the print screen key. Then click on your window search, type paint and open the paint application. Now paste the document that you just screenshot and it will be coming up like this. Now what you have to do from the left and top, you have to click on crop and then crop that exact document that you just copied. Then you have to click on crop and you can see it will be coming up like this. Now what we have to do, we just need to edit it. So in order to edit, like let's say that if I want to remove this rectangle, so you have to click on this erase button icon. And then either you can just erase like this or you can click on this select icon and choose rectangular selection. Then you can select the area that you want to delete and then hit the delete key. Now once done, let's say that if you want to type any kind of name, so now you have to click on this A icon that says text, click on it. And then you have to click exactly where you want to start typing. And then type your name. Now you also need to make sure that it matches the font size and the font style with the other document. So you have to select all. Then from the drop down, choose the best font that matches. Then you can choose the size. So similarly, you have to edit in the same manner with the other kind of document here. And once you are done, you have to click on file, then click on save as and choose PNG image. And then you can name it whatever you want to. And once you are done, click on save. You have to click on your window search again, type word, then open your word document and just choose the blank document. Again, from the top menu option, click on insert, then choose pictures. And now you need to take the same picture that we just cropped in a paint, insert it. Once inserted, you also need to make sure that it's properly fit. So as of now, you cannot move it. So what you have to do on the right hand top, you'll find this wrap text option, click on it, then click in front of text. And now you can manage it, you can drag it, so adjust the size according to the page. And once you are done, again click on file, then click on save as, then click on browse. And now you have to just click on the save as type drop down, choose PDF, and then choose the location where exactly you want to save, then click on save. All right, so now you can see we have edited the document and now it's in a PDF document. So this was the first method. Now in the second method, what you will have to do, you just need to convert this document into a Word document. So let's say that if we have this document, so you have to go to Google and in Google, you have to type convert PDF to Word. And you can choose this first option from here, then click select PDF file. And now you need to locate to the file where your PDF has been located. Click on it, then click on open. And then click convert to word. Once converted, click on download word. Once downloaded, open it. And now you can see it will be coming in a word document. So you can click on enable editing. And then from here, you can edit any part. So let's say if I want to type my name, I can type it here. Alright, so just make your changes and once your changes are being done, again click on file, then click on save as, click on browse, give the name whatever you want to give, then click on save as type and choose PDF. Then click on save. And now you can see that your document has been added, edited and now it's coming up in PDF only. Alright, so hopefully these two methods will surely help you guys and if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe for any question, let me know in the comment section. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.